Damn, that's a good fit, man. Who doesn't have a white t-shirt in their wardrobe? It's a classic, goes with everything. You can wear it all the time as a base layer, no matter the season. And I don't know about you, but when it comes to important staples like these, I wanna make sure my t-shirt is high quality, durable, and with a perfect fit. The shoulders need to sit right, it needs to be the right length, the right sleeve length, and it just needs to sit nicely on your body. But what exactly is that perfect fit, you ask? Today, we answer that question. First off, let me start by saying that there's not only one type of fit for t-shirts. Depending on the way you like to style them and your personal preferences, I'd say you can place them into two categories. Number one, a standard slim fit, which is the one we'll delve deeper into, and number two, an oversized fit. The oversized fit has more flexibility in terms of how it can fit due to its oversized nature, obviously. It doesn't matter as much, or at least it won't be as noticeable if the sleeves are a little longer or the body is a little wider than intended. As long as it has a roomier body, longer sleeves and drop shoulders, it should look pretty good. So in today's video, I wanna focus more on the standard slash slim fit. And why do I say slash slim? Because that's how it fits. It's not baggy, it's not skin tight. It gently hugs your body in the most flattering way. And I say standard because this is your basic t-shirt fit. If you're not going for the oversized look and you want that perfect tailored fit that you can wear with anything on its own as a base layer underneath other layers, this is how you want your t-shirt to fit. And in order to showcase the perfect fit, I've partnered with Son of a Tailor. If you've not heard of them before, Son of a Tailor is a clothing tech company that makes custom fitted garments. As you know, no two bodies are the exact same. We're all shaped differently, and sometimes the standard five or six sizes offered by most brands is just not enough to fit all body shapes and sizes. So Son of a Tailor customizes the fit of your t-shirt to fit your unique body. And they even have a perfect fit guarantee. So if they don't get it perfect on the first try, they'll go back to the drawing board and make the slight adjustments required to get it to perfection. So I tried their service, made a custom t-shirt based on my height, age, weight, and measurements. And after one round of revisions, I present to you my perfectly fitting white t-shirt. The shoulders are 42 centimeters wide and you can see the shoulder seams sit right at that natural point where your shoulder ends and your arm starts. This is exactly where you want it to be to achieve that perfect fit. The sleeves come down to hit that key mid bicep area. I wouldn't go any shorter or longer than this for a standard fit. And with my measurements, they're about 20 centimeters long in case you're the same height and that interests you. Now the torso is where you really wanna get that sizing perfect. Anything overly loose will start falling into oversized territory, which is a great look, but it is a different type of fit. And in that case, you kind of want everything to be oversized, not just the torso area. But you also wanna be careful not to go too tight. You just want it to gently hug your chest without feeling constraining at any point when you move around. The chest width for my custom fitted t-shirt is 49 centimeters. As for your waist area, you probably also want to have a different width here than your chest because unless you're literally shaped like a stick, most often you'll either have a bigger belly in which case you'll need to increase the waist width or you'll have a slimmer waist than your torso and you'll need to have a slight V taper. Finally, let's talk about the length of the t-shirt. I get OCD about t-shirt length because the problem is if it's too long, it looks like a dress and if it's too short, you can't tuck it in without it coming out whenever you raise your arms and that is the worst. The ideal length is about mid crotch. That way you can wear it both tucked and untucked and it'll look great both ways. And for me, the perfect length is 64 centimeters. When it comes to white t-shirts especially, you wanna make sure it's a high quality material. The two most common problems I always look for are see-through material, that is my biggest pet peeve, having a see-through white tee. And number two, distortion or change of shape after washing it. The latter is obviously harder to check for because you can't notice it until after you cut the tags and washed it. But let me tell you, I have this one Primark tee and it did not last long. After only a couple of washes, it completely lost its original shape. However, the son of a tailor medium weight cotton t-shirt passed both tests with flying colors. It's fully opaque and so far I've washed it three times and it looks brand new. But with that said, cotton is not the only material you can go for. Son 
of a tailor can also make them in wool. Yes, you heard that right. 100% merino wool t-shirts. It's actually surprising how comfortable good wool can feel to the skin, and it gives off a more luxurious feel. And then you have the tensile t-shirts. Tensile is one of the most sustainable materials out there, and it's more breathable than cotton, and great at wicking moisture away from the body, so it's perfect on those days when you're moving around a fair bit. But it doesn't actually feel like sportswear, so you can even wear it with the classier looks. You also have the peak t-shirts, which are made from Supima cotton, and have a waffle knit texture which is normally used for polo shirts. I'd say this is a great choice for the more sportswear inspired looks or just to add some interesting texture to a simple outfit. And finally, the standard cotton tee which you've been seeing also comes in heavyweight which can be a good choice for the colder months. Fabric choice plays a huge role in the final result of your t-shirt and you can really play around with different fabrics depending on your style and personal preferences. I'm a sucker for the classics so my favorite probably has to be just a standard standard medium weight cotton t-shirt, but whatever your style is, you have your pick of the lot. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of what to look for in a t-shirt in terms of fit and fabric. I've been there before where I didn't really know how things were supposed to fit and I would have liked to watch a video like this, so I sincerely hope it helped. And if like me, standard sizes don't always fit you well and you have trouble finding that perfect fit off the rack, I could not recommend Son of a Tailor enough. Feel free to check them out by going to the link in the description. All of their clothing is made in Europe and their t-shirts in Portugal. And of course, they don't only make white t-shirts, although that is my go-to color and I love white. They also have the other go-to neutrals like black, navy, and different shades of gray. And they even make long sleeves, Henleys, polos, sweatshirts, and more. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I wish you a beautiful day. Keep on dressing with intention, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I just broke the chair. This for a standard fit. And for, with, ah! Damn, we hate pop -hoo. There's not only one type of fit for t-shirts. <laughs> and I say, uh, I feel like the light has changed. Isn't it brighter than before? Oh man, oh. come on, oh. the fuck? Oh. <laughs>